Ah, you caught me here in the kitchen of Gospel Hill. But I do have another encouraging word of the week for you, and that is that we need to be eating spiritual food and have some solid food in that diet. In other words, the Scripture talks in the book of Hebrews about how when we are first born again, when we're babes in Christ, when we first get saved, we will drink milk. But then as we grow and mature in spirit, we need to go over some solid food. In other words, we need to get into the meat of the gospel. We need to get the word of God and study it and learn it and get it in our hearts. In the book of Hebrews, it says that we are to have that solid food. Now, I'd recommend that you read sometime this week the fifth chapter of the book of Hebrews. And in doing so, when you get down around the 13th, 12th, 13th verses, you'll find out it talks about how the church, the body of believers, the, the believers of that day and the believers of today were still on milk. They weren't growing up. Well, they were saved. They were born again. They had that new birth, but they were still babies in Christ. Don't stay a baby in Christ. I encourage you to mature spiritually by allowing the Word of God to lead and guide you and to eat solid food. It says here in the 14th verse of that 5th chapter, it says, But solid food belongs to those who are of full age or mature. I believe that you are that mature, and I believe that you want to grow spiritually. So remember, continue to fix your meals spiritually that you might eat solid food and grow spiritually. I encourage you to eat the food of God, the spiritual food daily, yeah, and even fix it for others.